Trying to be an actor. <laughs> trying to be an actor during a pandemic. What? Uh... <laughs> Uh, what what happens next? What do we what do we go from here? So I've had this lifelong dream of becoming an actor. I traveled to Shanghai to study acting over there. I went to LA for pilot season, and now I'm back in Melbourne. So I've traveled the seven seas, done all the auditions and stuff. And yes, it is a struggle. If you're considering becoming an actor, don't do it. <laughs> My name is Jenny and if you want to see the struggles of an actor and what else I get up to, make sure you subscribe to the channel for a new video every week. Um, so how has it been being an actor during the pandemic? Um, oh my god. Even, possibly even harder than being an actor not in a pandemic. So ridiculous. <laughs> At the beginning, it was incredibly scary and frustrating no one had a clue what was going on or what was happening to our industry so for the most part i actually got a few scattered auditions here and there there were a lot of tvc ads and voiceover work coming through and a couple of them were actually filming in your home so they drop off like the camera gear in front of your doorstep and then you kind of film yourself so i was getting them through my australian agent quite sporadically there were a couple of australian tv shows that i got to audition for and towards the end of the year when more Hollywood productions decided to come over here to film their shows, I would get bit part auditions for those series and movies as well. So it wasn't too bad. I'd say probably had like an audition maybe every month or two a month. The US side of things, a different story. Obviously, uh, the situation was a, a lot more dire there. And I saw that basically all of Hollywood had shut down. Even now, I saw an article that 90% of productions are on halt at the moment. So I probably hadn't heard from my US side of like team for a good four to five months and then randomly they would send an audition for a TV show but then it was always like location, TBC, dates, TBC or it'd be like dates, July, August and you well know that it's not going through. Recently, that side of things have popped back alive. And once we kind of got over that really weird, quiet hurdle when no one knew what was happening, things just started to go. It's been really busy uh, towards the end of 2020 into the first week of 2021. I got a couple auditions for like US series and movies through my US agent. Things were being made in Sydney, Queensland. A lot of American productions were being filmed um, over here in Australia. Great, it was just the medium in which we did all of that had changed. So a lot of the callbacks, there wasn't one callback I had that was in the room. Everything was just over Zoom, over Zoom with the director, over Zoom with the casting director. So how do you stay alive? How do you stay sane? I, I have had a few auditions. There was a really quiet period where I didn't have any auditions, but um, my answer would be that I'm not sane. <laughs> um, I keep myself quite busy. I have a lot of hobbies. Most of them do not earn me a living, but they are good hobbies. I make YouTube videos like this. Um, I did some sponsorships on Instagram and I run a podcast with my friend. And honestly, those take up a lot of time. I also have what some people call a survival job. So some people can call themselves working actors, uh, which I always thought meant that you were like actually working as an actor, like on a TV show or a movie. But it also means that you work on the side as well as being an actor. Because being an actor full time, for most people, it's not viable. You cannot survive. You kind of gotta be like rich to be an actor because the classes, the headshots, the no jobs really adds up and puts a financial toll on you. So I have a survival job working in retail. I found that that's the most flexible job that allows me to still go to auditions and still film something if it pops up. Today is Tuesday, 19th of November. I'm in the car with my mum because she just drove me to an audition in like Footscray Docklands, the area that I always go to for self-tapes. I'm actually working today. I'm in my work uniform. It's my lunch break, so we gotta hurry back. So at the moment, I'm doing about two to three shifts a week, which is obviously not a lot of money, but it allows me to go to audition and allows me to film my self-tapes and have kind of a more balanced lifestyle. Of course, you can also look for other streams of income and passive income while you do that as well. Keeping yourself busy and having hobbies is really important, but also having friends. Uh, prior to, I'd say this year, I never really had any active friends. I didn't really have anyone to talk about this stuff with. And sometimes you just need a big old rant about how everything sucks and you're doubting yourself and you think you're never gonna make it and what am I even doing with my life? 
Um, and it's also nice because sometimes we give each other tips. For example, if an audition comes through that I think would suit my other friend, I'd let her know and say, hey, you should ask your US agent about this show. Obviously, if you sign in like an NDA or something, you can't say anything. But yeah, um, it's also great because this year there has been a lot of self tapes. So we're just going to show you our little um, cheap mostly ebay stuff vlog setup i recently upgraded and got this white background uh because they usually ask for a plain or white background and it is plain but it's got like door handles on it so it might be a bit distracting and as you can see over here hey <laughs> we have my camera i recently started using my camera but you can also use iphones which are also fine for auditions so usually i'll stand here and the camera's filming me and the reader will be like right here and then she'll just like read for me I don't really like using like friends or like my partner just to film self tapes because you get a better reaction from yourself and you act better I find if the other person is an actor as well or if you're doing an American accent tape the other person uses a US accent as well kind of helps you a bit more so now that I have actor friends uh, they either come over to my house or I'll just get them to call in on FaceTime and put like the camera next to the camera so I've got the eyeline and everything and that's been super helpful as well because previously I'd used my mom once and that was just a nightmare <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. You're gonna quit. You're gonna. How do I say? You're. You're, you're going to. You're going to. Quit. You're. You're going to quit. You're you going. To, you're gonna quit. You're gonna quit. Yeah. I'm going to quit. What is it? <laughs> There's also things on the acting side that you can keep yourself busy with. You can update all your acting profiles, like showcast or actors access in LA. Um, if you do social media on the side, do your media kit, which took me like a week. But it's so worth it, um, and also another hobby that you can do and to boost your own acting profile as well. You can take um, like online accent lessons, you can work on your US accent, you can work on your Australian accent. I kind of just used that time to work on my own skills, you know, go to casting director workshops. I made a completely new showreel scene because, you know, if there were, there were going to be such few opportunities, I wanted to make sure that... I had everything that I needed to, to get in the room or to get on Zoom. And also, uh, if you're in Australia, Screen Australia has like so many amazing funding programs, not just Screen Australia, like ABC, SBS. There's just so much going on all the time. I never knew that there was so much support for creators and there were so many programs and competitions and funding. So this YouTube channel, you guys, we got funded for a web series. So me uh, and my friends Molly and Gabby will be creating a web series for this YouTube channel, which is fun sponsored by Screen Australia and Google. So that is super exciting. Uh, we're filming in a couple of months, so that will be an acting job to do. There's also more technical stuff to brush up on, like the camera, equipment, tech side of things. I bought like a backdrop for myself to use this year. I finally figured out how to use my microphone just so I can get better sound quality. I'm learning more how to use my camera as well. And Skillshare has also been really helpful in that region. So I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video. They've got so many great workshops on about more technical side of things where there's editing, lighting, video work, image work, how to shoot content, etc. And as an actor, these are things that we need to know as well for our self tapes or for our own profile. So they have so many professionals creating these workshops that are from five minutes to an hour. You can watch it while you're eating your breakfast. You can watch it while you're on the loo. You can watch it while you're folding laundry. You can take it anywhere with you. Um, and a lot of them come in like really short form videos. So whenever you get a chance, you can just sit down and learn something. So for this month's Skillshare class, I decided to go with the basics of web design layout by Rich Armstrong, who is a product designer. Now, as an actor, you're probably like, why does she need to learn web design? Well, I've found that having your own website really helps. But there's some things about websites, like the margining, the positioning, the fonts, the padding. So it's always good to learn. And it's a good web page for people to land on to find out more about you, what you're currently doing, where they can find you and what you'll be doing in the future. So it's a fantastic online learning community and the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link below will get a free Skillshare premium membership. So you have unlimited time to watch, you have no ads and you have the world at your doorstep. And last but not least, I think it's really important to be grateful and count every win as well and celebrate those because when I reflect on 2020, I actually did not have a bad year. It was actually pretty good in terms of acting for me. My web series that I worked on, Girl Interpreted, came out at the start of the year. We got a friggin' web series funded, which um, is like, I still can't ex 
I can't even like fathom it. Like we have to write it ourselves, we have to produce ourselves, we have to act ourselves. So you know, when there are no jobs for you or when you can't find an acting job for you, create your own. Self-care, self-care. Just be easy on yourself and, mm -hmm. and don't don't be hard on yourself and feel like you haven't done enough because there's there's literally nothing you can do. Just just relax as much as you can. During 2020, um, I filmed a TV pilot. I was in multiple commercials and, and was still was still working, um, which is something that when the pandemic first happened, I, I didn't think would happen at all. There's always stuff you can do um, and there's always more you can learn as well. So make sure to be grateful for the rest time you've had and to count all the wins and all the successes along the way because it is a really <laughs> tumultuous journey. It is a very uh, interesting career to choose, one that I would probably not recommend, but now we're in it too deep and I've told you guys all that I want to be an actor, so I've got to stick with it. So fingers and toes crossed that uh, 2021 will obviously be a much better year. Literally. And for people who aren't actors, <laughs> great life choice. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little actors vlog, actors rant about what the heck I was doing in 2020. And let me know how you guys are. I would love to have a chat in the comments down below. I'm always down to have a cry about this uh, great career we chose. And thank you to Skillshow again for sponsoring this video. You can click the link in the description box down below for a free trial of their premium membership. You can catch me on Instagram over here. You can catch me on Weibo at Longtani the Jenny here. And you can listen to me and my friend Bebe's podcast on Apple Podcasts or Shimalaya. It is called Hao Yi Sujiemei or Shameless Sisters. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Happy New Year and let's all stay sane this year.